All right, welcome to episode 30, which is part two of the Crow's Nest Goldmine Explores. We are back, of course, uh, continuing in uh, Melrose, Nova Scotia, in Guysboro County, um, in an area called Cochrane Hill, an old gold mining zone just by Melrose. At the Crow's Nest Gold Mine, back in episode 29, just before this, if you haven't seen it, we, uh, we take you through the bulk of the Crow's Nest abandoned mine site, which was very, very extensive. Tons of things that we found. But for this episode, part two, we are uh, coming uh, to give you the rest of the footage covering the final adit, the third adit, which uh, at the end of the day surprised the heck out of us. It was so extensive and, uh, and, and so lengthy compared to everything else, not only at this site, but every other abandoned mine we've been to in the province of Nova Scotia, that we, uh, we have a feeling that this may very well be the most extensive and longest open abandoned mine in the province of Nova Scotia. It's gonna be hard to top this one. So just wanted to give you that little bit of preamble before we start into the uh, footage on the ground and cut back into uh, the day of exploring that we were showing you on episode 29. So let's get started. Here we go for part two, the final adit at Crow's Nest Gold Mine. Okay, we've made it to adit number three in the Crow's Nest Forest. Let's go over here and have a look. This one uh, is marked with a, a DNR sign. And the boys are already heading in. Really strong breeze. If you look at this fern, that is uh, moving from the, uh, the sheer wind coming out of there. And it is gorgeously cold <laughs> on such a hot and humid day like today. Okay, here we are inside. Let me just come down here. There's the, uh, the opening to the outside with this huge chunk sitting here. <laughs> that broke off the wall pretty clean. But it is uh, foggy. Okay, so we've uh, we found some branching in here. Some big timbers in the water. So there is the uh, 13 on the wall. Long undisturbed uh, silt and sort of decay on the uh, floor of the uh, under the water. And there's our left turn there. And no one has been in here in a long while. So there's the, uh, there's the left turn. And this is the main tunnel. We're just staying off to the side because the water is, uh, is well over our rubber boots. So we're just trying to stay up here on this edge. There's an ore cart there, or track. Yeah, and there are, uh, there's tracks here in the water. Okay, basically, uh, in order to traverse this, we're just gonna have to get our feet wet. So this is what it looks like to uh, go under and over your boots. <laughs> there. Oh, hear those filling boots. Screw it. This is gonna, what it's gonna take to walk this one. So I'm walking on the ore cart tracks under my feet, I can feel them. Oh yeah, it's nice and cold and fresh. Wow. Look at that quartz in the ceiling though. This is what they were following, folks. And we're following it. And we're following it now too. Look at that, just a good foot long, six inch, four inch, six inch ribbon there on the left and a great big foot wide on the right. And it goes right where the tunnel goes. It's in the ceiling the whole way. Way, way bigger than I expected it was gonna be. It goes. All right. 
we're starting to uh, come up out of water. Boots are being dealt with. Oh, see, this is drama. This is what people on YouTube want to see. <laughs> Comment below. Click like. Rubber boots being changed. Yeah, up to our knees, folks. Look at the wet lines. Look at the wet lines. Look at the wet lines. Are you mapping this? <laughs> My God. Well, there's the... Uh, there's the rail coming up out of the water, shoved off to the side. It just goes here into the distance. We're back to kind of being over boots again. But this is incredible. This is, uh, this is at least 300 plus feet at this point, And we're still no end in sight. And the breeze is strong. Kind of coming up out of water now. It's kind of silty, mucky. Look at those footprints. Mmm, chocolate pudding. Mmm. So the boys have found a left again. The second left. Yeah, this has been uh, untouched for a long time. Look at this pudding like mud. All right, here's the left. Here's the tunnel we were already on. He's mapping away, trying to get this uh, <laughs> recorded so you can uh, enjoy the beautiful map making in the video as we go. Anyway, we, will, uh, we always do side patches, passages on the way back. So we continue with the main haulage tunnel. <laughs> this is a muck fest. So we, we play balance beam on these beams of wood. Ah, finally dry land. There's the ore cart tracks. Finally up out of water so we can see them. And we've got... Wow. Kind of a little offshoot that's been backfilled there. And here is the ore cart tracks heading off into the distance. So we'll say that's the continuation of the main haulage tunnel. And we have an offshoot to the right. We got some branching going on in here. A lot more than I expected for a, what was listed on the DNR as an added of like 40 meters. <laughs> this ain't 40 meters, we're probably at the 500 foot mark now. And we've still got side patches, passages. Oh, and suddenly we hit a dead end. See, I opened my mouth. We're at 500 feet and it's a, okay. Well, let's go in here and at least take a look. Okay, here's down that right hand passage where they said dead end, and this is why they say dead end. Da 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 da! <laughs> Gorgeous silvery rock. Orcart tracks, so rare in a Nova Scotia abandoned mine. They're normally all either dissolved or removed or under mud. Here's a nice, beautiful set. Can you see my leg, though? Okay. Can you see my leg? Yeah. Okay. okay, we come to kind of a split. Nice. All right, some, uh, some timbers. And 
and that looks like a collapse coming down a shaft for sure. I'll have to take a peek up in there for you. Here on the timber, signs of electrical. Let's take a look up this shaft. So here I am sitting underneath the collapsed shaft. And just to look up one, this is what they're, they're like. Hole in the ceiling, tons of debris that's come down and it's just precariously held there by its own stacking like Lego. And it's, uh, you don't wanna go up in there, <laughs> but that's what it looks like. All right, we're back here at the fork where the ore cart tracks end. There is the shaft I just showed you up and we will continue on the main tunnel. And they say it gets pretty precarious up here for a, a bit. Let's go see what they mean. I hear a lot of water flow and gushing here. Here's the other side of that shaft now that we've come around the corner. And they say, oh, yeah. there's some hellishness here. Holy crud. <laughs> there are timbers holding back oodles of uh, collapse and rock. Wow. And the tunnel that continues is beyond that, down there into the distance. And that's where all the water's coming down, I see. He's gonna make a run for it. It hasn't moved in probably 50 to 100 years, but we're, we can take a quick 10 second jaunt and get past it as quick as we can. Next, <laughs> where do you want me to go? Yeah, you, uh, you gonna take the run with me? Here you go, folks. <laughs> okay, we're on the other side. Four car tracks pick up. There's the uh, the water flow through the timbers. Wow. What did you find? Clay pot. Clay pots? Is it like original? No, it's somebody brought it in here and set it here. <laughs> okay, this is approaching a good uh, 800, 900 feet at this point of travel that we've taken. So just estimating folks, just estimating. But shortly, if uh, we count those side passages we haven't even explored yet, this may very well be uh, the longest mine in Nova Scotia, because this will certainly beat the 1,400 foot Rodden if we uh, get much further. <laughs> on and on and on, and who would have thought it's back up here in old Crow's Nest in Guysboro County. Okay, coming up here on the fellas. We have come to some kind of an end, but it goes into some, uh, what they say is very, black water. That's uh, that's silt. That's not depth, I don't think. That's definitely silt there. You ready? What, you're gonna throw a rock down yeah. there? All right. That's shallow, you need down there. Yeah, the rails go right to there and end. That's, um, that's a mineral, like that's just mineral settlement there. It's not a, that's not depth. I can see rocks sitting in it. I know it, it, it would probably, it, it, looks, it looks awfully spooky on the camera as well, but it, uh, oh, it's here, good. I'll come up on it and show you. There's the rocks. Yeah, 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 I can see it now. See? It's just an illusion. Right, it's, it is a dead end. It's a dead end, just when I said, oh, we're gonna beat Rod, and, and well, we, we probably will, because there's still side passages we have to uh, explore.
So now we're heading back to the, uh, the right-hand passages. Well, they were, they were left-hand coming in, but... <laughs> oh yes, the lovely chocolate pudding world where you may lose your footwear. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. This is the, uh, the second, as we're heading out, this is the second left-hand passage we left behind. So we're gonna go down here. What do you see? Another, another dead end. Another dead end. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Have a look at it. Oh, this is yet, this is another passage. It's not, I thought they connected together. <laughs> All right. More stoping, he says. Let's go up this muddy mess here. Nice big drifting in here. Yeah, they were after some stuff. What the heck is that? Do not know. You said there's stoping up here? Yeah, it's a uh, shop. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, okay. Now. Oh, yes, one of these monstrosities. Oh, these big timbers. Wow, all collared and everything. Yeah, that, uh, that goes up far. Wonder where that come up, comes up up top, because it might be related to one of those uh, shafts we look down. You can feel air coming down. Yeah, the air is coming down. There's the, uh, the water flow over here. Okay, we're heading back here. Taking the turn and continuing to follow these uh, these branches. What is that over there in the corner? Bark, I think. Bark. Birch bark. Like, why would birch bark be down here? So this is an end, and there's a piece of birch bark left. I wonder if this was ceremonial by some folks that were in here earlier some other year, some other decade, some other time. Is there anything written on it? That is just bizarre. We need to get out of my hunter's card and lay it right on top of that. All right, here we go. The ceremonial laying of the Nova Scotia mine hunter's card. All right, we're back out to the ore cart tracks and continuing to follow them. My God. <laughs> another end? I was gonna say, if, uh, if this became another haulage main tunnel, I, <laughs> I'd be very surprised. See that split in the minerals? That's not a video effect, that's exactly what it looks like. That hard line. Look at that, I'll shine the light down a little bit. Don't know if that's a moisture difference or two separate layers of, uh, of mineral. So that ends up there, does it? Yeah. yeah. All right, here's coming up to the, uh, the two-tone end, we'll call it. Look at that. Brown, gray. Pretty weird. So that's the two-tone tunnel, we'll call it. We'll mark it on the map that way. Let's head back and go down. We've got one more, uh, we got one more leftmost passage that we were past coming in, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. We're coming up our, on our initial left turn that we found, the left junction that we passed by to do the rest of the mine. So this is our last part that we have to accomplish. It is freaking deep here at the beginning. Uh, over your knees, over your knees. <laughs> So there's the portal heading out there. So here is that leftmost tunnel deep. Is it an end? 
It looks to be an end. There's a pile. A confirmed end. Let's go have a look. Okay, so the dead end was not so simple. There is a pile there, but there is a little offshoot here to the, uh, to the right. With some wood and some uh, interesting, uh, those mineral deposits on the, on the, under the water. Beautiful. And the mine mapping continues. All right, here we are back at the portal. It's kind of a collapse down that we have to kind of clamber back up again. Jesus, this water. Good God. So this is how you get out, folks. Back to the world. And dusk is falling. All right. Our boots are flooded. And we are done this at it. Bye-bye.